well, this is Miss Havisham. So I'm in Sheffield City Centre, and this is the old Queen's Head, um, which was formerly a hunting lodge um, in this area for the 6th Earl of Shrewsbury. Now, as you can see, it's been changed now. They've even taken the old sign down. But this is um, a, one of the, oh, it is, I think, the oldest building, or one of the few oldest buildings in Sheffield, dating from 1475. Um, so, this area, so this is, the old post office in Sheffield. Um, this was supposedly built in 1901. Um, that's an old looking doorway there. But however, you can see these windows down below. So this is the front of the building. That part was uh, demolished because it's another part of being built on. But this is the front of the building. As we can see, the railings that go down. So it's obviously mud flood. That gap there was where the horse trough was back in the days for the horse and carts and carriages. That was where the horse trough was. So. It was empty for 20 years, but now it's owned by the University of Sheffield. But that's where it goes down to the uh, lower level, all the way along, showing that it was in the mud. All the way. Um, so what we have here is a very old building which was the former um, buildings of the gas company in Sheffield um, but I, I think that's really old I don't think it's Victorian by William Floxton but the clock tower was added later so I don't believe that the town hall itself, this is the old town hall, it's been closed for about 20 or 30 years. I don't believe that was built by Floxton. They just said that the clock tower was added in 1804 but it was supposedly built in 1804 but I don't believe it was. It's now been empty for all that time. And then swing across this is the site of Sheffield Castle. So Sheffield Castle was demolished on the orders of Oliver Cromwell. It was demolished in 1646. So Charles I was beheaded in 1649 and uh, so, on the orders of Oliver Cromwell, this was actually demolished and it was a massive castle. They actually left us a space to look through. So, that's the view through the window. So, this is just by the side of where the castle was. So, these are all buildings. This is the old market tavern. That has been empty, it must be at least 30 years it's been standing like that empty. Um, but that is very old, as is the building next to it, up there. So many of these old buildings that have been left for 20 or 30 years or more. So, it's very old. So this is the River Dock, and this is where the confluence of the rivers 
Jordan and the River Chi, that they joined together. And this was the reason why Sheffield became the manufacturer of steel um, in the Industrial Revolution. And this is what made Sheffield into the big city that it is now. Although as before that, in, in the 1800s, it was only a borough. So where I am now is the iconic wicker arches. Now this was built to accommodate the Manchester to Sheffield railway line by the Midland Railway Company um, in the 1800s of course when the railway was just getting going. Uh, this closed down and the Victoria Station on the top of the arches closed down in 1963 as the result of Dr Beeching when he was brought in as the hatchet man to get rid of all the uh, local stations. So this was designed by John Fowler and the whole I did visit his grave in General Cemetery uh, and I visited there in part one and this grave has now been desecrated. Um, his father designed the fourth bridge. So that's the iconic wicker arches. Still some old buildings remaining but not many, most of them have now been demolished. And this is called the wicker, uh, which is actually which used for jousting. Um, in Elizabethan times, this area was used for jousting, and it's called the Wicker, which of course is Druid word. So this is the rear of the old town hall. This is the back of it. As you can see, that is a dragon. I've just looked at it more closely. On this building here, that I think is Tudor, is, is a dragon on the corner there. So this is the front of the statue of King Edward VII, who was the son of Queen Victoria, of course. And after her seclusion, after the death of Prince Albert, uh, he actually was the acting monarch, because she went into seclusion and all that, longer carried out affairs of state or appeared in public. So he was actually effectively the sovereign uh, until her death anyway in 1901. So that's the old post office in the background, you can get a better view from this angle. And uh, King Edward VII uh, was actually a Knights Hospitaller of St John, uh, who have links with the Knights Templar, uh, who were the Knights of Jerusalem. So this is the site of the old Marples pub. Um, this pub actually, um, during the Sheffield Blitz, the, there was a doodle bug uh, coming over and um, the people ran into the Marples public house to shelter from the bomb. Uh, as you can see, there is a basement there. And they all ran down into the basement and they were, there was a direct hit by the doodle bug, it was the B1, and uh, they were all... So I've now made my way back up to the Sheffield Cathedral. This is the former parish church, and uh, it dates back to Norman times, uh, obviously whenever the Norman times were. There is an effigy inside uh, of the sixth Earl of Shrewsbury who was married to Bess of Hardwick, uh, of Hardwick Hall. She was a relation of the Cavendish family um, who are at Chatsworth, the Dukes of Devonshire. Uh, their family name is Cavendish. Um, so this area was originally full of graves, right to the roadside, the iron railings all around. And um, in the 1950s, the graves were exhumed and um, it was for road winding. 
the um, corpses or remains, um, no one really knows what's happened to them. There was a newspaper report that they had been uh, thrown down a ravine uh, in a Sheffield suburb and young boys were finding the bones and were showing them to people, uh, anyone who was interested. Uh, but all this will be covered with graves. Uh, there are old photographs to show that the gravestones were side by side and there was not much space at all. Uh, they're all crammed in here. But this was all graves on the frontage and now it's been paved. Um, so the uh, remains were just really summarily disposed of. So I hope you've enjoyed that tour of Old Sheffield. So I've been the original Miss Havisham and thank you for watching.